Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you a very rare book. Uh, this book is um, one of a kind almost. It's Introduction to Abstract Algebra by Albert A. Walker. Now, you might be able to find copies of this book, but this particular copy um, is a professional copy. It says Random House Professional Copy, Alfred A. Not, not for Sale. So, uh, this is uh, a book that was uh, given as a copy for like evaluation. And it does have the dust jacket. Let's take the dust jacket off so we can see what it looks like. There it is. Really quite nice. And abstract algebra is probably my favorite mathematics subject. Um, so I have at least 30 abstract algebra books. Copyright 1987. So this is the first edition um, book. Really nice. Sets. That's the first topic that we see. Groups. Vector spaces, so really good stuff. Introductory stuff. Rings and modules, that's kind of fun. Linear transformations. Then we've got some fields and then some topics from group theory. Yeah, there we go, Celo theorems. I was looking for those. And then topics in ring theory. Cool, we've got UFDs, those are unique factorization domains. Oh, good, good, the Hilbert basis theorem. I remember having to, uh, we're going to look at that in a minute because I, I have some memories about that. I probably should make some videos on it, maybe do a proof of the Hilbert basis theorem uh, for everyone here in the channel. Um, I did that as an undergrad. That was a, a big thing for me to have to learn that on my own. Here's the preface, and it says, In teaching a beginning course in abstract algebra, one must suppress the urge to cover a lot of material and to be as general as possible. The difficulties in teaching such a course are pedagogical, not mathematical. Yeah. And you want to go slow. So basically, in order to learn this stuff, you have to know how to write proofs. So if you know how to write proofs, you can jump into this book and you can start uh, learning some mathematics and learning abstract algebra, right? Um, let's look at the back of the book here really quickly. Yeah, so something I'm seeing here is an appendix with Zorn's Lemma. Mm, so what I'm not seeing, and let's just go back to the, to the contents because I'm not seeing it there either. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any solutions. Right? This doesn't have any answers, so that makes it hard, right? But does that mean it's not worth getting? No, I think it's worth it. It's going to give it a whiff. Oh, it smells delicious. As a collector of math books, I think it's worth to get every math book. But this is a solid book. It's got solid mathematics and solid topics. You can learn a lot of abstract algebra. Let's look at that Hilbert basis theorem. I want to look at that really quick before we end this video. 324, I'm curious. Wow, it's the very, very end. It's like, it's like the, almost the last thing in the book, right? I mean, yeah, here we go. Oh, they do, the, they do the proof. Let's take a look here, see what it says. It says, in this section, we will prove the Hilbert basis theorem. If R is a commutative Noetherian ring, then so is R join X. This theorem is fundamental in the ideal theory of commutative rings. A ring R is Noetherian if every infinite chain, these are our ideals, um, you have this chain here of ideals becomes constant. So like I sub 1 is contained in I sub 2, which in turn is contained in I sub 3. Yeah. That is, it is impossible to have an infinite strictly increasing chain of ideals of R. This is also expressed by saying that R satisfies the ascending chain condition, ACC, on ideals. A ring R satisfies the maximum condition on ideals if every non-empty set of ideals R has a member that is not properly contained in any other member of that set. Such a member is called a maximal element of that set. An ideal I of R is finitely generated if there are finitely many elements, R sub 1 through R sub n of R, such that I is the smallest ideal of R containing all the R sub I. Yeah, this is cool. And if R is commutative, that simply means this equation here. And then here we go. Here it talks about it's building up to uh, the Hilbert basis theorem with a lemma. I read that kind of quickly, but that's, there's a lot of knowledge here, and it's just all very familiar. And so it's like, oh, this is exciting. You know, I remember this stuff. Um, Hilbert basis theorem is something I haven't looked at in a while. And so seeing it here in this book, uh, brings back some some fond memories. So anyways, great book. I highly recommend it. I think that um, you can learn abstract algebra with this book. And I will try to leave a link in the description. Take care.